when your chief, Art Acevedo, goes online, and, you know, and I confirmed him, I voted in yes. I'm um, thinking twice about that now. Uh, but when he goes online and he states the thought that a 2020 elected member of city council don't understand that a protective helmet is needed to police officers is a testament to the loss of common sense. I could easily say, Mayor, from the thousands of people in the city of Houston who say the thought of a chief of police on not understanding that if you have a camera on and footage is taken, the people want to see it. That That's the problem with this country. And he lacks common sense. And he lacks common sense. But I don't do that, Mayor. I can question everything that he does. I don't do that, Mayor. I can ask him why when I saw a video on Facebook a few years back, when his officers were on Homestead and Tidwell and they took their guns off and they sit guns out and they pointed at a vehicle and they told the officer said, come out of the car as if act like I'm going to shoot you. And I asked to speak to him and he chose not to speak to me, but he sent to me to, he spent, sent Officer Finner to speak to me. But maybe he doesn't have time to talk to me because he's so busy out on TV. But I don't do that, Mayor. And so I'm going to ask you to ask your chief, the one that, yes, I did confirm, to shut his mouth and get in, his, get in these streets and do his job. Chief Art Acevedo, I, I'm going to ask you not to continue to do this, please, sir. Um, because we have to work together. And if you want to continue to work together in a harmonious way, uh, please refrain from going and taking this to the public, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I also want to join with my colleague, Council Member Jerry Davis. I was shocked to um, read the tweet from Chief Acevedo regarding an agenda item that was pulled. Um, and so um, I, I, I think what's lost is that we get to inquire. Uh, we get to make sure that the city of Houston is moving in the very best direction. And that's a part of the reason um, why we are elected here. Um, I am offended because I believe that no one, none of my colleagues are against protective helmets and shields for police, for there are other things that they must do with that equipment. However, he's not listening. It's a bargaining court tool to demilitarize the police for public protest. That's been the ask and that's been the recommendation. So I'm concerned that he would get on Twitter and not have a conversation with um, council members before he publicly posts that. But I can get on Twitter too. I'm free until one o'clock. So that concludes my remarks. Thank you. Uh, I mean, uh, sometimes Twitter is not the uh, is not the best tool. To... It's not, but we could play. It's not. It's not. I know, I know, but I think I got time I, today, though. I have time, and tomorrow I'm gonna start over. But today, that that just that just offended me to challenge someone's <laughs> common sense, and it's not fair when we have made every every effort to talk to him behind closed doors to uh -huh. ask those questions. We've done that work, and so I just uh, would appreciate not sending a text message the morning before a vote. If you were serious, you, you don't get a just because it's HPD. You don't get a just because vote. And you have to give extend that courtesy to us. So um, I'm going to try to uh, rise higher today, but I can't promise you nothing, Mayor Turner. So if you see me on Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> give me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Am I, am I not always treated you with respect? Say it again. Am I not always treated you with respect? You you absolutely do. Every time. Every time I call, you answer. Every time I want to meet, you extend the opportunity. But that, we're not talking about you, Mayor Turner. 